All right, what is going on YouTube? Foxy Cooper coming to you guys here with a brand new video and in today's video We're gonna be looking at the Kilo 141 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare And I also want to take a look at the camos in this game and I'm gonna explain to you how camos work and things like that I hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers So if you guys are brand new here make sure you guys do subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff and without further ado Let's go bros basically how camos work in this game is there are 11 categories of camos in this game. That's f***ing insane! <laughs> so, there's 11 categories of camos, and within those 11 categories, there are challenges for each camo in that category. So, there's 10 camos within each category, which makes it over 103, I think it's like 103 camos per gun in Modern Warfare, which I think is just awesome so much to grind for we're gonna be using this dragon neon pink camo because it's 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 october it's press kids are wearing this month y'all know the deal and it's in order to get this you got to get like 45 hit fire kills but we're on our road to gold as well so we'll have that video coming up very soon as well but shout shout out to my man tasty for already getting gold camo and things like that the class setup that i'm using pretty much this entire video is an optic sight stock rear grip and sleight of hand. I really like fast reloading. And the mobility is pretty nice. And the ADS is pretty fast. I mean, it's, my gun's a level 45. So if you guys want to try this out, you guys can. I'm not really big on class setups. I just kind of use the guns and use what I like. And then I just kind of go with it. But my biggest tip of all for class setups is use what feels comfortable to you. This feels comfortable to me. So that's why I use it. I'm also running Claymore's flash grenade because flashes are the best because you throw stuns and flashes the same in this game so like it's not like flashes take longer like in the older games and then the three perks i'm running are scavenger ghost and battle hardened battle hardened helps with like flashes and stuns and things like that because a lot of people run those in this game ghost obviously with uavs people spamming uavs you don't want to be seen and then scavenger honestly i would run cold blooded if I had it unlocked, I'm like a level away from unlocking it, so I'm just running Scavenger. But you would probably want to run Cold Blooded with the ammo crate. That helps with ammo, and then it helps you, you know, not be seen by streaks and thermals and things like that. So, all right, let's get into some gameplay. And if you guys want to use code Foxy on GField.com, it's 30% off right now. We're not losing too bad. The only thing that I don't like in this game is the fact that we don't have weapon um, animations in this game. But that's okay right now. So, we have the Kilo 141. This gun reminds me a lot of the ACR from MW2 and the Scar from Modern Warfare 2. It kind of has that um, kind of has that look to it in the kill feed, at least, you know, in the kill feed. And then also the appearance of the gun also reminds me of the, the Scar from MW2 a little bit. I don't want to run out anywhere, but I see lasers and I see nades coming through so i know that there's gonna be people coming running through hey there's a, there's a nice guy right there thanks for the headshot there buddy there's still headshot challenges and things like that for camos but it's just a lot more complex this year infinity ward really outdid themselves in my opinion i really really love how they did the camos this year it's such a grind and you feel accomplished when you get certain challenges done in my opinion i don't see him no don't push their spawn you fucking idiot what are you doing yeah see that's what you get you died because they're all just sitting in their spawn good god i suck there, there's one guy there's the other guy there should be one more oh no i i i my reaction time sucks balls. I'm telling you guys, when I say I didn't expect this, I didn't expect this kind of grind in this game, I was pleasantly surprised when I found out this news. Now, I wasn't gonna report on this news until I was playing the game, obviously, but I found out this news about a, a day or so before the game came out, and when I tell you guys that I was just shocked at this, I was just like, wow, they're really going all out this year. For the camos and everything it's just it's awesome hopefully we can get the gold camo on the kilo 141 by the end of the day today which i mean like you guys aren't gonna see it yet but you know hopefully we can oh i didn't see him he's blending in back there bro now this map is one of my favorite maps in this game i think that this map is one of the maps that we'll see and we'll go, this was probably one of the best maps in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. With the camos, I know that some people might be a little confused about, you know, the, the, the categories of the camos. Now, with the categories of the camos, you need to level up your gun in order to unlock that specific category. So, the final category is level 69. <laughs> level 69 of, oh shit, wait, no, 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 no! Level 69 of my gun is for the final category. 
of, of camos. Like, that, that's how, that's how fucking insane it is. You know what else I have to give, like, some high praise for? Infinity Ward has fucking daily challenges in this game already. It, it's literally, it launch. It's launch. And we have daily challenges for a bunch of stuff. Honestly, I really like to have my, oh shit, that's right, I don't have a nade, I have a claymore. I like to make sure that my guns uh, are moving pretty lightweight. I don't, I don't like it when my guns are really heavy and things like that. Come on, come on, come on, we can, we can secure this, we can secure it. Oh, they're gonna be behind us, they're gonna be behind us. Nice, nice. I don't like when my guns feel real heavy. So, because of that, I tend to run a, a little bit, oh, that's a guy. We tend, I tend to run attachments that don't make my gun real heavy. So like, I like the ADS kind of quickly. Kind not so much like running around fast, not like running and gunning, but if we like to have a fast ADS, you know, we like to, we like to have that. Nope. <laughs> Fuck! Goddamn Claymore, dude! What was that? <laughs> I dropped shot this dumb ass in. How did my teammate not die? That's crazy. Oh, nice, way to go. What the fuck was that? How did that kill me? What is that? But anyways, see this is why I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2 lately and a lot of people have been asking me why I've been streaming Modern Warfare 2 or why I was streaming Modern Warfare 2 and this is why. Because a lot of the maps in this game resemble how much WHY?! OH MY A lot of the maps in this game resemble Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4-esque type of maps. That they're they're small, they're um or not they're not small, they're a little bit bigger. Um I wanna know where this guy was. Double yeah, two piece chicken McNugget, thank you very much! So I've played the I've started playing the campaign already. And um let me tell you guys something. This campaign is one of the most it's one of the most intense campaigns I've ever played in Call of Duty. Or ever. Like I've never played an intense campaign like this before. It's fucking insane, dude. I can't stress enough how good this campaign has been so far. Now, from a story perspective, it's all right. You know, it's it's still like that radical kind of Call of Duty thing. But like, when I tell you guys that it's just intense as fuck, within the first 10 seconds, I was like, oh, so this is the tone that we're setting. And I love it. I love it so much. It's got balls. This campaign has big, huge gonads, man. It's so great. It just has a bunch of balls. Okay, well, I'm gonna run into their spawn. I'm gonna see what happens. Nope, okay, I'm being shot at, I'm being shot at. From where, from where, from where? Where am I being shot from? What? Oh, they have a Pavlo in the air. They said a cluster strike. They never said a Pavlo! I'm like looking all over the place to see if there's like a guy like trying to like shoot me from like long range and shit. No, it's a fucking helicopter. Well, this is nice. Hey guys! What's up? All right, so uh, let's all just sit in here. Guys, it's all good. It's all good, guys. Let's all just sit in here and camp in here. No one's gonna kill us. None of none, the helicopter's not gonna kill us. It's all good. It's all gravy. Just, just sit in here and we'll all be fine until the helicopter goes away. All right, it's leaving. All right, let's go, Cat B! Let's go! Don't forget, if you guys want to sit comfy while you're playing Modern Warfare, use code FOXY on respawn.com for 5% off your chairs and gaming desks and shit, dude. All right, team. Let's go get them. I want to see a valiant effort from everybody today. I expect nothing less but a dub. But yeah, man, like the Kilo 141, like I said before, it really reminded me of the ACR. It really reminded me of uh, like an ACR type of weapon, but I know that the Kilo 141 is an actual weapon. It's not just the ACR with a different name. And I was told that by people on Twitter uh, the other day. And I got sniped. In this game, the maps are pretty much like specifically designed for each mode. There's no selection between 10v10 and 6v6 modes. Like, there's no, oh my god, there's no, like, you can't choose, oh, we're gonna play 6v6, or, oh, we're gonna play 10v10. I think that's kind of cool, but, like, at the same time, I think that's a little odd. It's never been like that before, but I feel like because they only have a certain amount of maps for each mode, that's why they're doing it. That's my assumption, because there's only 21 maps, and there's about, like, 6 6v6 maps, and then there's about, like, I think maybe, I don't, I don't even know how many 10v10 maps that there are. I'm pretty sure it's, like, 5 or 6 once again. Nope, you thought. 
There's a lot of callbacks in this game too. When I was playing the campaign last night, I was like, wow, there's so many callbacks in this game. There's just so many like sound effects or like certain things that you see on the screen, UI and all that. And it all is like a callback to the original Modern Warfare trilogy in a way. And it's so cool in my opinion. I love it. I, I really do. I like the little hints of like nostalgia and shit like that. Well, we're losing B flag. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so like the way, okay, because I've played the campaign now, or I've played some of the campaign, the way that we enter each map is reminiscent of somewhat of a, like a campaign mission, which is pretty cool or whatever. I like that. There we go. Oh man, give me that two piece. I'm running here. Close the door. And we're just gonna sit in here. We're gonna play like it's MW2. Bruh. Oh, they really, oh God, that team balancing is some bad shit, bro. A lot of the new mechanics that they put into this game is really, really cool. Reloading while uh, ADSing, you know, I, I know it's, uh, I know other games have had that for a while, but I love that Call of Duty did it. You know, I appreciate games like Rainbow Six and Battlefield and things like that. You know, uh, Call of Duty has always been the game that I really like to play as far as, you know, just like FPS games. That and Halo. It would be crazy if Halo did some shit like this, but I don't think that they ever will. I don't know where he went, but there was a guy in there. There we go. Double nice two kill. piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. We are going to have videos pretty much like every single day for a while. And I hope you guys do enjoy the content. You know, we're going to try and get you know, funny moments, all that good stuff going here. We're just doing like class setups on like what, what guns you should use at first. And then we're going to move into the funny moments and things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.